Hello everyone and welcome back to Faith as it is podcast to this new episode episode 31 I guess and in this episode uh, actually you know we are going to listen and learn about predestination the catholic notion of predestination so before we begin let me just explain the location change actually this is the second video that i am recording uh, the first video that i recorded after editing for like 3 hours after making a lot of uh, changes to it i couldn't uh, back up i thought it would be there but then somehow i lost it so this is the second time i'm recording this episode hopefully it will come out well so before we begin so in this episode we are going to listen and learn about predestination the catholic notion of predestination and how was it different from the calvinistic understanding or in, in general the protestant understanding of predestination and the pelagianistic understanding of predestination so what are these two predestinations first let me tell you about the protestant's notion of predestination so i hope you guys know what predestination is if not let me just give you a quick uh, insight into that so predestination is basically god destining you to a certain place in your afterlife either hell or heaven so what the protestants hold or maybe it would not be good for me to say protestants because some of them do side with the catholic view of predestination but then the calvinistic understanding of predestination is basically he says that there is no free will like everything is solely dependent on god's plan and god's grace and they often quote the scripture from romans 8:29 to 30 let me read that out for you uh so romans 8:29 and 30 says those whom god foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son in order that he might be the first born among many brethren and those whom he predestined he also called and those whom he had called he also justified and those whom he justified he also glorified well uh maybe consider this a spoiler but we catholics do not deny that there is predestination we do say that god has predestined us but then what makes us different from the calvinistic notion so before we get into the catholic understanding let me speak about other extreme so there is this heresy of pelagius uh, it is also popularly known as pelagianism so they say that there is no uh, predestination so everything is solely dependent on human work or what work i do so my salvation is depending on the works i do and so they totally bracket of god's grace so there is no god factor in it so my salvation and your salvation depends on our works well that is like a too liberalistic uh, point of view so then what is the catholic notion so then we have this golden mean so what is this let me read the first from the catechism of the catholic church para 600 let me read that out for you to god all moments of time are present in their immediacy when therefore he establishes his eternal plan of predestination he includes in it each person's free response to his grace i hope you got the difference here so here we do not take the extreme position of calvin where he says that everything is of god and there is no human effort needed now do we take the pelagianistic position where we totally exclude god from it we do say that we are, are predestined but there is also our free will our free acts which contribute to our salvation so then how is this different do we have some scripture backing this up so let us take a look at it so we find two references for us first things first so we get the first verse from first corinthians chapter 4 verses 4 and 5 let me read it out for you my conscience is clear but that does not make me innocent it is the lord who judges me therefore judge nothing before the appointed time and wait till the lord comes he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will expose the motives of men's hearts so this supports our belief or our notion along with romans which we had seen in the start of this episode that god is the one who predestines us who judges us and who decide what should be done to us after our death and we have philippians chapter 2 verse 12 therefore my dear friends as you have always obeyed not only in my presence but now much more in my absence 
continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling here paul exhorts the philippians to work out for your salvation for their salvation for our salvation and this is the same paul who had told earlier that god has predestined people so then what is the catholic position now if you go back to ccc para 600 as we have seen just a couple of minutes ago we do believe that it is primarily god's grace but then there is also our effort in it our effort makes us worthy of receiving that right so there is no question of uh, our free will being uh, hindered by god's predestination or god's predestination being hindered by our free will or of our deeds so that complements this and this complements that so this gives rise to another question what about hell does god predestine anybody to hell uh, just like he predestines people to heaven who cooperate with his grace well no this god doesn't predestine people to hell our god is uh, he had created human beings to live with him in paradise but it was man who opted against him it was man who chose against him it was man's selfish deed it was human selfish deeds that made him get kicked out from the paradise so this is basically man's option against god every time a person chooses to choose sin over god like we literally have two options before us when we know that we have the best option god which is obviously free of charge we also know that we also have another option called sin and whenever we make an option for sin ipso facto we lose god so what do we mean by we lose god we earn a place in hell so this could be a little complicated this could be a little blunt but that is the harsh reality when we choose to sin when we choose sin or oh god then if we remain unrepented always god's mercy is greater but then provided we should wholeheartedly repent and if we do not repent then obviously we ourselves choose to go to hell and it is not god who is sending people down to hell so let me sum up what we have learned in this video this video is relatively short compared to the previous videos this video we just spoke about the calvinistic notion of predestination the pelagianistic notion of predestination and how the catholic view of predestination differs from them and then if god predestines people to heaven does he not predestine people to hell the answer is no he doesn't So guys we have reached the end of this video thank you for watching please do like share and most importantly subscribe and spread the word and this would really mean a lot and if you have any further questions you drop it in the comments and we would most probably take it up in the next video once again thank you for joining and bye bye